Hi, this video is going to show how to present uh, resources peak units over time uh, using Microsoft Project. Uh, this is version 2019 and I believe this uh, can be used with 2016 as well as 2013 versions also. Uh, so this project is uh, about a software development project uh, with the two major deliverables at level one being the installed software and the project documentation uh, with uh, you know multiple uh, work packages under each and we have two hammock activities down here uh, and so with that quick introduction to the project let's talk about how to generate uh, the report the graph resource graph so we'll go to report uh, select resource overview and so the resource overview as the name suggests provides an overview but we'll change the report to uh, just look at one particular resource first we'll clean out uh, some of the displays here the things that we don't need so uh, this Let's just clean all these things out. So I'm just selecting and I'll hit delete. I hold, I'm holding the shift key and selecting all these and hit delete. So we'll just keep one graph here. And for this particular graph, once we click on this uh, left click, it shows us this panel on the right with the field lists. So right now it's showing some other things that, uh, you know, showing actual work, remaining work and baseline work. Instead, we want to see the peak units, which is under the number fields. We'll select the peak from here. Uh, and you see that peak uh, X got added. And we'll uncheck all the other fields that were being shown. So I'll uncheck baseline work, actual work, and remaining work. And that brings us, and we can close that panel list off. So now it's just showing peak, but now it's showing peak for uh, multiple resources, only one of them peak across the project. What we will do is filter. Actually, before we go there, we'll change this to show, we'll change the time uh, or change the x-axis to show time. So I'm going to go to the, on the right, select category, select time here. And so now this is showing on time axis. And now I'll go and filter it so that we just see for a, one resource. And let's say we want to see it for the software architect. So I'll unselect here and then just select the software architect and hit apply. So now it's showing us the graph for one resource over time, or the peak units of that resource uh, over time. And we'll change the, to change the graph uh, appearance we can again hit left click go to chart here on top switch to columns and say okay so now we are seeing uh, the the view uh, that we wanted to uh, so this is now showing day by day we can actually change it to show week uh, weekly data points or peak units across a uh, week by week to do that, we go to uh, all the way to the right, hit edit next to the time. And in this window that appears, we'll select weeks instead of days, say okay. And so now we have the graph for, and I can make it larger, uh, showing peak units for this particular resource uh, using weekly data points, which is, you can see roughly there are more than 20 points here, but of course that can be adjusted based on your um, project duration and so on so this shows the graph if you want to find the corresponding data uh, from a table uh, we can go to resource usage for that so let me select resource uh, resource usage table and oh, right now there's some filters applied let me clean that off uh, so i'll go to no filter here and no group so this is the normal view for a resource usage, win usage window. And so we see uh, different resources being listed here with their different activities they are involved in and so on. And we can actually filter it down to a single resource. Um, 
going through, you know, uh, or selecting a resource range and so on. Um, but we can just uh, scroll down to the resource we are interested in. Uh, but I mean, that's an option if you just want to see the table showing just one particular resource, uh, we can do that too. Um, so, so anyway, so we, I guess, well, I guess I can, might as well just collapse all the resources. And so right now the table is showing work. Uh, and uh, so what we'll do is do a right click, hit detail styles. Uh, from this column uh, of available fields. If you just hit click on P, it shows peak units. Move them to on the show side and select the other two and hide them and say OK. And so now it will show us peak units. And uh, we can adjust this timeline. Well, we can just zoom to say show entire project. So we can show, see it in an entire project basis, but now it's showing month by month. And so if we want the data by uh, week by week, we do a right click on the time axis, click time scale. Uh, middle tier is on quarters, that's fine. We'll go bottom tier and change them to weeks and say, okay. And so now this data is week by week. So for software architect, we can just copy this uh, particular row uh, copy it to, you know, so something like cell or straight into word table and present that. And so we will, of course, have to match uh, the timeline in terms of project start and project end that's shown on uh, the resource graph. Uh, we, we take the corresponding data from here and, uh, as I said, paste it on uh, in the word report on an Excel table and then paste it into the word report accompanying the graph. I'll stop here.